Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Salsa is ready for another day. Another beautiful day. She's starting to cry because uh, she saw... Let me move. There was someone getting mail early in the morning. Good old Salsa. Everyone likes seeing you here. And everyone likes to see you in 2020. Salsa girl, but uh, today is trash picking day. Another fun day. Should be a good one. Uh, it has been raining all night, so maybe things are kind of wet, but we're still going out trash picking. Hopefully it's going to be a, a fun adventure. We'll try to find some things and make it a fun day. Let's do it. Grab this vacuum cleaner. This one's really clean. Could just because it's wet but them not like throwing it in the trash can might symbolize that it does work so we might test that one that's where i suffered my massive finger injury a while back i saw a whole pile up here so we'll see it's over here See what it is. It's a portable air conditioner. Clip off that piece. All right, take this off too. You won't believe what we just found. A grill. In January. do get a new van I'm going to get it paneled and I put like a bin tied up there and that new van might be coming a lot sooner than I thought
bunch of toolboxes out here. Ooh, just wants to snap on. It's an empty wood box. People love their wood boxes. Did see something buried down here. There you go. Jumpers. This one has tape on it, so I'm going to assume it's probably no good. It's just empty boxes. That's an umbrella, but I get yelled at when I take those. Oh, jeez. Premium insulated one wire. This is BX BX wire over there. It's not much, but what is this? More BX wire. I'm not taking those gas cans because one has tape all over it and the other one uh, it also has tape on it so probably it's probably broken or damaged in a way hey look another christmas tree so i actually have seen quite a few this morning uh that sun is not coming out so this is going to just probably be like a big blurry video unfortunately but that's just how the how that saying goes it's how the ball rolls how the mountain falls how the cookie crumbles something like that so there's a lot of alleyways in this town also uh but so far a decent day we found our best friend the grill got some items there there's another christmas tree so yep there's another christmas tree they're everywhere today fortunately the boxes have kind of slowed down i found like two or three piles where it's just a ton of boxes but not like last week. That was uh, a little bit too much for me. It's a huge uh, sensory overload at times, but hang left here. We're going to head to the other side of town. Hopefully that big pile's there. And we'll see how this goes. This is one of the piles. This is the one that had the futon last week where I got honked at. And it kind of got me upset. And the reason why I got upset is because that person pulled onto this I don't know, alleyway, just to take a shortcut. These are shot. Will anyone buy them? I don't think so. They are Nikes. They are roached. Spare Technic parts. I did see a Lego box, but it's not Legos. I think it's been clipped. think this is worth anything sometimes I don't take those and I get a lot of comments saying that they're sometimes worth money so I'll grab it Worth anything? Probably not. I'll grab it. I have quite the pile growing with those. I think that's it. Now we'll see what's underneath this box if there's anything in here.
take this too. Water and press board don't mix together. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's kind of got a mid-century vibe to it. That's just rubber. Grab with this. This thing still has all the glass in it. It's a display case. Oh, it's missing. Missing glass on one side, but I think somebody can use it. Pack your van better, Taco. Gotta pack your van better. I should be wearing my disgusting, dirty gloves. saw a bunch of those containers you guys might remember the three tiered containers I was looking for for a while and I found the one that was I think it was like a black one I think it had four tiers uh, there are a bunch on the other side of this Toyota however uh, I'm probably going to actually have to get rid of mine because I think mine was used to store some sort of food or medicine or candles and it smells like really really awful Hey look, more shelving. Kinda like that. That's a little homemade, I like it. This is actually the shelving I had kind of like in my house. Oh jeez. When I was growing up. Very lightweight. Uh, this kind of shelving would not really work in the warehouse. It's not industrial strength. And because of these columns, it uh doesn't work that well. Today has been pretty eventful. We found a bunch of stuff so far. I'm very happy that we're back into the swing of things. Speaking of swing, we swing to the left here. Then we're going to uh, go down these alleyways. Hopefully they haven't been picked over. I just saw the garbage truck on the main road, but I didn't know if it was a recycling truck 
They didn't have anything. Oh, a pile of boxes and stuff. Nothing. Alrighty. Ah, so that guy threw me for a loop. They used to have decoration all over their garage. And I was like, wait, is this the right road? But silly me, it's no longer the holiday season. So of course people take down their decorations. Television down that road. Got up here on the right. Nothing. Pile of clutter person. Can't tell if these are old. VHSs. Can't tell if these are old. Made in Taiwan, so they might be a little older. That's all I saw there. saw of some sort. It's like a central machine or scroll saw, yep. I don't know why I was thinking it's called a skull skull. A skull skull saw. It's a scroll saw, that's what it is. Scroll saw. I think it's a made in China jobber. I think we have some keepers here. block this nice stand I'm putting it up here because this kind of gonna be my key pile up here I'm waiting back to hear from someone if they need that rack or so I say shelf This is also a keeper, and this is a keeper Costco cart. I saw an advertisement. This should sell. I saw an advertisement for this with a little piece of paper. I think they're like five or six bucks back in the day. It's really cheap. Three bucks maybe. have some weight. a bunch of stuff I uh, feel like we really packed the van today a lot of good finds like something like this I don't think it works I mean, it was in the trash jumper cables maybe I can test them we'll see we have a snap-on case this thing is empty uh, a wooden box wooden boxes always sell it was kind of, kind of unsure about picking up this I don't know I saw the screw in there and it just looked a little a little cheaply made I don't know why even though that's the screw you need to put into your wall but yeah, it was a fun day. Let's see what, what, uh, what else we probably grabbed. We grabbed a bunch of stuff. Ooh, that tire looks slow. 
and it's just the way I parked. Considering I just got inspected, I don't think it's actually low, but we got a Costco cart. We got that shelf kind of rack thing over there. This is probably my favorite find. Uh, this is, I think, a plant stand, flower stand, most likely a plant stand. Uh, and I think this would definitely sell. So that's something I know is definitely not getting scrapped. Neither is this Costco cart. These things sell really, really quickly as well. I think that will sell. Uh, but these, these and the, the plant stands are big, big fans at the flea market. That's for sure. And they don't really take up too much space. I can also put stuff on this. That shelf, I'm going to actually save for the other person. So that's not going to get scrapped. And I'll drop that off when I go trash picking the next day. Uh, and yeah. So what I was... And what I was trying to say about this was with uh, these side columns, these posts, it makes it very, very hard to like fit things on this. So if you think about it, if you have a whole wall of these kind of shelves, it's not like the same kind of shelves you might see at, let's say, Home Depot, which has the wood on it, where these columns are very, very spaced out apart. If they were spaced out apart, I would definitely grab them, but you're just very, very limited on what you can put on that. I also have one myself. I think I had the plastic one and it really does not help i'm actually thinking about throwing it away that shelf is costing me more space in the warehouse than it's doing me good because it's so small just you can't put anything on it so shelving and stuff like that i'll just have to come across one at an auction one day and feel very ambitious i guess you can say to kind of take it apart and then put it back together and haul it back home and haul it back to the warehouse one day so we'll see with that but a lot of good finds butcher block Nice display case and stuff like that. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. If you guys want to share the video or share the channel with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever, that'd be awesome as well. Really trying to help grow the Taco Stacks community is awesome, and I greatly appreciate all the support, guys and girls. So, Thanks for coming along. Catch up, guys, next time. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.